right. I, I want to read a comment here that's from another video. And I want to show you something here. Okay, so uh, this gentleman three years ago, his name is Captain, says, Since I got saved, I've been terrified about different beliefs. Once saved, always saved versus this. Although in my heart I don't want to sin, I have and am afraid of being lost. I don't read book of Hebrews out of fear. I, I'm sorry. I don't read book Hebrews out of fear. I love Jesus and want to do good but have been lured into sin on and off, such as drinking because I hurt my back bad, trying to justify it, then later leading me to bars, etc. But honestly, was in so much pain, I couldn't move. But like I said, later it took me down a sinful road. I hated myself. I repented, but I feel like God hates me that I messed up after being saved and that he might not forgive me. I have no peace, only conviction over the past, even though I still hate sin and try to do God's will. It's my desire. It's all messed up for me. Please pray Jesus Yeshua forgives me and that I understand him so I can have peace that I desire with all my heart. Okay, so this is... <laughs> This is uh, devastating, really. It's, it's terrible that somebody would be living in fear and having no peace when we as true believers uh, know that perfect love casts out all fear and that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Now, it's interesting here that he, he capitalizes Yahshua, who's the son of none, and then he doesn't capitalize Jesus, which is the Son of God. So this poor fella is all kinds of messed up. Okay. So uh, what he believes and what this video appears to be teaching is that uh, uh, what Hebrews 10 says. Oh. All right. Hopefully you can see this now. All right, in Hebrews 10, verse 26, For if we willfully sin after that we have received the knowledge of the truth, there remains no more sacrifice for sins, but a certain fearful looking for of judgment and fiery indignation, which shall devour the adversaries. Okay. All right, so what? this guy believes is that he sinned <clears throat> he willfully sinned after he was saved and he lost it and now there's no more sacrifice for sins now there's another verse i want to i'm not sure i'm going to be able to find it real quick but let's Let's do this and see what happens. Yeah, there it is. Hebrews 6. Should have known. I should have known that. All right. So, all right. Hebrews 6, verse uh, 4. Right? For it is impossible for those who were once enlightened and have tasted of the heavenly gift and were made partakers of the Holy Ghost and have tasted the good word of God and the powers of the world to come, if they shall fall away to renew them again unto repentance, seeing they crucified to themselves the Son of God afresh and put him to an open shame. So uh, what this guy and others believe and teach is that uh, once you have been enlightened, you know, meaning once you have been saved, that if you should fall away, it's impossible to be renewed again. All right, so if you sin after you've been saved, there's no, it's impossible for you to be saved again. Uh, like it said in Hebrews 10, uh, that, you know, there is no more, there remains no more sacrifice. So it's impossible for you to be, once you've lost it, man, that's it. You're doomed. All right. So uh, what they're basing their salvation on is sin. So after you become saved and you sin, that's it. You lost it. There's no more sacrifice. You're done. That's it.
No chance. And that's what this guy believes because he heard somebody teaching it. He heard somebody teach it, and now he's terrified because he did sin. And he's got no peace, and he's he wants Jesus, Yahshua. And I, what he really means is he wants the Lord Jesus to forgive him. All right, so if you are a true believer, then you should know that the blood of Jesus covers all sin. Now, your sin's already covered. Hey, you know, whether it's your sins in the past, your sins in the future, your present, if you're sinning right now, that sin is covered. It's covered forever. And it's not just your sins, but for the sins of the entire world, for the whole world. His sins are, ha, covers all, his, uh, I'm sorry, his blood covers all sin. So, uh, you should be at peace knowing that you have eternal life and that uh, you're not it's not possible for you to sin and lose your salvation because you sinning and not sinning is has no bearing on your salvation it's all it's not about your works it's about the work that was done for you all right, so if you're trusting in yourself to save yourself, you're doomed, man. Just like this poor fella. He thinks that he's got to save himself, and he can't do it, and he admits it. I mean, this is, this is honest right here. This guy is uh, showing humility, being honest as he can be, trying to figure it out. You don't see that very often because a lot of these people that believe that after you you're saved and you sin, you lost it forever. And this guy's just being honest. He's wrong, obviously, but he's being honest about what he believes, which I wish uh, everybody would do. Really, just be honest about what you believe. You believe that uh, if you sin after you're saved, you're going to lose it. Well, you're going to sin after you saved. So by your own measure, you're not saved, right? I mean, it's sad. It's terribly sad. But I guess it's what you, des you deserve because you're forsaking Jesus Christ. You're rejecting Jesus Christ. And you never believed in Jesus Christ because Jesus died for your sins. His blood, I mean, he went through incredible incredible uh you know an agony really he was he was among his own people and they rejected him they persecuted him they arrested him and they ridiculed him and they beat him and they ultimately killed him and he went through all that for you and you're still going to say that's not enough. What he did wasn't enough, man. Come on, what more could he do for you? Well, for some people, they'll just never get it. I mean, if you're not saved, you're never going to get it, right? Until you're saved. You're going to be blind to the truth that it's uh, that we are saved by grace through faith and not of yourselves it is the gift of God. 